session number two for bluefish and again i'm pretty new to bluefish fishing so like I, i'm not claiming to be an expert here but from what i've been learning from my professional guides is you always just want to be targeting when the water's coming in and the water's going out because that's usually when the bait fish are moving and that's when the bluefish and stripers are chasing the bait fish and so when they're moving like that you can have the chance of catching these schools of fish moving through your area there we go we crushed this earlier Not he's up. got battle scars Not yeah you up. just you just clip it on right yeah you just clip it on yeah i clipped it on yep oh nice oh 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 i got them they're far out there dude yep they're out they're way out there Yeah, this guy's not too big. Right there. This guy's tiny. Little guy. There, I was. There we go. Little guy. Force this guy in. He, he was pretty far out there. All right, quick release. Yeah, he's probably like 50 yards out. Same thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, right there. They're not far out. No, right there, like 20 yards in front of me. Yeah. He missed it, came back. Boat flip. You have pliers on you, John? Yeah. Okay, I'll bring them over. Right here. I got it. First one for the day. Just a good eater. Not a giant, but got him. Gotta go take them off the hook. So never lip bluefish because their teeth are ferocious. So use some kind of gripper device or hold them behind the head like this but we're gonna keep this guy so what we did is to took a blade and went right into his throat and just cut straight in and there's a little vein or an artery there that you cut which releases all the blood because 
when it comes to eating these fish, you want to release all the blood so that the meat just tastes better. Number one for the day. Oh, you caught one too? Yeah, I hooked up right after you did. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't I even was know. I in real fast to throw your way. And he took it? Oh. Yeah. There we go. It's been a relatively slow morning, but we've had some action with some blitzing. So I can't complain too much. Right now, we're just waiting for these schools to circle back around, hopefully, before the tide mellows out. I don't think I've shown you guys my rig that I'm using, though. So 4,000 size spinning reel, 20 pound braid as my main line. I have a 50 pound monofilament leader tied to one of these Yozuri Hydro Minnow LCs, 150F. Today I'm using a chartreuse top with a orange bottom. That's it, very simple rig. And then this is simply a cast and retrieve technique. Launch it out as far as you can. And these lures, they don't sink. So the moment they hit the water, just start reeling and reel fast because the faster you reel, the more action you are giving your lure and the more action your lure has, the more enticing it is for these bluefish to strike. That's the whole gist of this. Cast, retrieve, cast, retrieve, and you just hope that a school of these bluefish come by and demolish it. We are nearing the end of this morning tide, so the fish might be slowing down. Not that it was great to begin with, but the ideal still stands. It's slower than earlier when we were actually getting blitz. I am, I'm here. They're right here, right in front of us. I just got hit, I just got hit. Oh, oh, I got hit. Oh, right there. <laughs> yep. They're right here. <sighs> oh. It doubled up. Quad it up, actually. Oh. Okay. I saw one more. All right. So this guy's crazy. Come on. Grab him. Oh. Ah, perfect. It's crazy how much this type of fishing is reliant on those blitzes. Once you know the blitz is in place you're gonna catch fish. The blitz is gone, fish aren't here. It's, it's like there's no fish in the sea. Oh, speaking of that, we're hooked up. Right over here to my right. Oh. 
right here just like that tiny guy oh and he's in the hole is he gonna be able to free himself uh i don't think he's gonna be able to free himself oh Is he still there? He is still there. That's the problem with these jetty type areas. These rocks, like your fish has so many places it can disappear into. <laughs> Got him. Right there. It's a little guy. I think he's a little too small. Appreciate the fight. I'm also using this little finger glove. You put your finger that you're gonna be casting with, holding the line, and you just wrap it around your wrist. And we're doing this because we are using heavy lures with a spinning reel. So you take your line when you cast and you hold it with this glove. And when you cast, if you don't have this glove here, this line will cut your hand or your finger. We have been getting so lucky these past two days getting overcast weather like this. Normally, if you don't have this stuff, from what I've heard, it gets beaming hot down here. So yesterday and today, we've had some pretty mild weather, which I like fishing in this overcast weather. One, you're not miserable, you're not overly hot. And second, the lighting for the cameras are just way better. And if you guys are wondering like how come we're just like tossing yeeting these fish back into the water instead of being nice and gentle with them one these are ocean fish like they handle much crazier things than just being tossed back in the water the other thing too is these rocks that are constantly getting hit by the water are really slick if you slip and you get taken by this ocean like you're in a lot of trouble so always stay on the dry rocks and just toss these fish because one these fish being tossed like five feet isn't harming these fish. Dude, we're hooked up like crazy. <sighs> Gotta go join the blitz. Where there's a blitz, you go join them if you wanna catch fish. You got a suffocator? Yeah. Nice. A good one. Nice, very nice. Yeah, Mike. On is hooked up to the right. Boom, right there. <laughs> right in front. Yep. Like 25 yards out. Yeah, slightly. I'm gonna take this thing out of my pocket. <laughs> Can't fight with him. Oh my gosh, he popped off. <laughs> I need to take that out of my pocket.
I'm missing one hook. Oh, you are, huh? Yeah. One of the, one of the hooks broke. Yeah, that was a decent one. That was a keeper. <laughs> huh? That yeah, that would have been my third keeper. So when you throw, you want to aim it at the white, but your goal is to go past it. Go past it. Yeah. Okay. But do you want them closer to the dam, yeah. though? So I would reel in now so you don't just touch. Okay. Yeah, these things fly. I can see why you say you can castle far. Yep. Oh, fish on. Yo, first oh, cast, bro. First cast. Yeah, first cast. If you don't call that spoiled, I don't know what spoiled is. <laughs> 